So it's interesting sitting here and you know, feeling this pulse to share something, to make myself available in some way with the world during this time. And at the same time, there is such a, a blankness I've been feeling. Maybe some of you can relate a sense of Almost like how the pause that's occurring, the pause of all these different threads of momentum, these, these different, you know, fishing lines that perhaps we've thrown out for this year. And, and so I guess what I feel like sharing right now is just a little bit of stillness together. And just starting with that and seeing what wants to come through. So I just invite you to find a place in yourself that knows stillness, that is stillness, that expansive stillness, that presence spot that connects us with the ease of infinity. And so just breathing in from that spot and just gonna have a little moment of stillness together. You know, in that stillness, like, I was, being honest, quite not still. <laughs> I was watching my, my, in that stillness, the stillness kind of shared with me this, this imagery of a children's meditation practice that is, they show this image of the body as kind of like a robot and how there's all these circuits going to every single part of the body. And at the end of, of each of the circuits are filled with light. And so one by one, they're, they're turning off the lights. So they're turning off the switch for the pinky toe and the point, you know, every little toe, every little ankle. And you're slowly watching this image of this robot, you know, become darker and darker as all this, all this turning off of this energy that's been going to these different places. And this meditation is here as a common meditation and it made me think of, I feel like that's a lot of what's happening, at least in my own life, I'm feeling that, how there are all these different limbs of output and presence and action that are just being turned off. And, you know, with this meditation practice for kids too, it's a way of calming the mind. It's a way of refocusing slowing down and I noticed for me something that's been coming up is being able to really surrender to it and feel the joys and the excitement of the stilling and also because I'm pregnant this is such a great time for that and at the same time this little voice of like oh, but don't become stagnant and so that's something I have an invitation for you is to explore in your own self the difference between stagnation and stillness and what are ways that you can connect with a certain level of momentum that's still like the like allowing the circulation of your creativity or the circulation of your life force still move into different areas of your life in a more gentle way at this point. And 
I know I've been exploring that as, you know, my daughter's not in school anymore. All the school systems are closed. So she's officially homeschooled like that and <laughs> got laid off my favorite job that I've been working for a while like that, you know, and there's just a lot of these, yeah, like turning, turning off the output. So let me see if there's anything you individuals want to share about that. What you are seeking isn't from outside of you. What you are seeking is a sense of validation that what's inside of you is enough to survive. That what's inside of you is valid. And why we bring this up is that there is a purpose that is simple. And as we can reclaim this sense of nobility within that simple purpose. Trusting that you existing on this planet is the beginning of what's needed for the world. So right now, if you are feeling challenges in overcoming grief or stagnation or feeling alone and at loss. What we encourage for you is to just bring in this visualization of a great river that's sweeping through the land and it's moving with it, it's debris, it's moving with it, it's picking up trees, it's uprooting limbs, it's creating a larger and larger rushing current. And what's being asked of you is to step back far enough that you aren't getting swept up in that current. Because every flood has an ending. Every monsoon begins, turns into a clear, clear sky. But during the time of the river rising, during the time of the magma flowing, what's important most is to listen to your instinctual nature. To know how to step back, how to pause any output that will take away the life force from you that is needed right now to cultivate that sereneness and that clarity and that self-sourcing that's needed right now. So returning to that pause, returning to that breath. Because life doesn't happen for, oh, I'll be out. They're kind of like showing you this image of there's such a there's such an order to to everything you know like there's an there's an order to the epic wisdom of this planet and why the planet churns in the way that she does and you know there's an order to how our bones are laid out in our bodies and and to remember that this this order is is something that is constantly evolving and taking inventory of the surroundings and keeping track of all the variables that we may not be able to comprehend. And so just knowing right now for you, if there are, if there's a domino effect in your life, as there is in my life, <laughs> thing upon thing of, you know, this, this turning off, I know for me in my own life, why I've, it's been really clear that this is bigger than just, 
COVID-19 is how it's how my life is being affected in through my body, through my technology, through the things in my life that represent me moving around the world, my car, you know, my, my car's not working, it stopped working last week, both my computers were down, I fixed one, you know, and it, my ability to, my ability to, my right arm, my right hand has been like, I like sprained my wrist, so I've been able to do as much, and it's just all these different things that for me symbolically represent me putting, going out in the world, me creating, um, are just being slowed down. And so just noticing in your surroundings what your surroundings are telling you, what is the wisdom of your environment, what are the symbols and the, yeah, the, what's the metaphor around you, teaching you and showing you which path is is the safest right now for you to step back as these great waters rise and yeah there's my really soft transmission for you i'm feeling pretty gentle and still and yeah pregnant <laughs>